my goodness, there it is, a small box with an ant in it. I had seen somebody, like a girl playfully throwing plastic silverware at somebody in the kitchen. Ricochet off the freezer door, dink, into the fryer, bink. And I promise you, it was happening at... And then her head goes in the fryer. It was slow mo. I mean, I could like I I could already see from where it hit. I'm like, that's going in. I'm sure I have uh, at some point. No, you have. I used to work at a Papa Murphy's, and I don't know if you had these at Culver's. I don't know if you worked with one. The 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 cheese grating machine. No, I didn't. So you they order at pizza places. I worked a lot of pizza places. They order big blocks of cheese, like like kind of like a brick, bigger than a brick. That's huge, huge rectangle of cheese. Okay. And it's this huge grater, like like an automatic grater. And there's this like rectangular hole, and you put the cheese block in about how it goes about, down about halfway, it sticks out about halfway. And there's this lever you pull down and you push it slowly, and you turn on the machine. And it, like there's a little grate on underneath that spins around really quickly, and it slowly grates the cheese and it comes out in strings. It's crazy, what? Yes. And, and you put like a little box underneath it and you catch it all in, in little totes, right? Okay. So, but about that is the the lever and then like the little press doesn't go all the way down, right? Because going all the way down, you'd be hitting the grate and that would cause issues, right? So there's always like maybe about this thick little block of cheese left, and you know usually you just keep that in there, and then you get the next log and then you put it in there and that, like I said, care of the last one. You don't have another block of cheese to like take care of that with, so you're stuck with this at the end. Usually just throw it out, right? You just throw it away. Spock cheese on it. Use it. But. You don't snack on it? No, you don't snack. You, can, you could. But no. Uh, but cheese. manager didn't like that. They didn't like wasting cheese because cheese was expensive, right? So she would. And she even mentioned, told us that we should do it. Put our hands in her while it's on and like hmm. push it down to like, so it tries and, you know, tries to get it. Golly. Hell no. Nah. Like, I'm not doing that. And I saw her doing it one time. I was like, well, Claudia, what are you doing? No, no, no. Don't do that. You're, you're going to cut yourself. You're going to get blood in the cheese, right? Guess what happened not five minutes later? She cut her hand. She cut her, she cut her fingers and got blood in the cheese. I was like, Claudia, we have to throw that whole toad out now. What about her finger? Why are you focusing on the blood and the cheese? <laughs> How bad is it? Yeah, it? It wasn't bad. She didn't like lose her finger. That's why it wasn't so. Okay. She, was, uh, she, she went, oh, and just pulled it out. There's blood and, and the cheese, Claudia. Yeah. No, I, I told her, I told her, Claudia, if there's blood and the cheese, we'll throw it out. But she, when she got cut, she was like, she went, oh, and then pulled that back. I saw that she had all her digits. So it was, I wasn't that worried. And she wasn't like screaming or freaking out. So I was like, Claudia, we, we have to throw away all that cheese now. Papa Murphy's is down bad. Th- this is this spin. is part where I say I, th- I I shouldn't be here anymore. What do you mean? We just take out the cheese that had blood on it? No, Claudia. They had me serving these onions that were past the date and had gone translucent and were leaking, like they had just started bleeding liquid. Damn. Like you know, you know, onions are normally like white. I would describe right. Right. They were clear and had drained liquid. Yeah. That's not a good onion anymore. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, well, we ordered too many, so go ahead and serve it. <laughs> what a great reason. Bro, these margins cannot be razor thin. This store is like $2 million a year, and I make 16 an hour. Right. And there's three of us here. Yeah, you know, so we, these cannot be razor thin margins. Yeah, we, we are penny pinching right now. And what you're worried doing? about throwing away three onions. Also, I put away the inventory every week, so I know how much the stuff costs. I did that too. Yeah. I did that too. And I was not paid 16 a week. I was paid eight. Oh. I, I when I, at Papa Murphy's, I started at like 825, 850 or whatever it was, right? Mm-hmm. I think because... This is the managerial problem. I complain about Papa Murphy's here. Um, because she would put more work on me that was not in my job description of put the pizza products on the cold dough and then give it to people mm-hmm. or prep ingredients. Like she had me doing inventory. She had me ordering stuff. She had me, she would leave and I would run the store essentially. Like, that's not a, that's a, not in my description, right? Um, so she gave me an extra dollar oh, to do wow. all that. A whole dollar. Yeah, bro. They don't I give you to, nothing. I went up to nine fifty. That was or whatever nine twenty five, nine fifty. 
What was your worst customer experience working at Culver's or In N Out or anywhere? Um, I'm, they didn't even accept me at In N Out. I they never because like, no. you're nothing to them, right? At Culver's, I mean, I think a funny one was definitely when, like, we close at ten, right. but it's like ten o five, and we still have a huge line. Right. So we send somebody out to start telling people, hey, you know, we're cutting off the line. So it's like ten seventeen. I'm cutting people off. And I'm like, hey, we're cutting off the line at this certain car. So, you know, you can come back tomorrow at 10 o'clock when we open. He's like, man, this is discrimination. I'm going to let you guess what race he was. He's like, this is discrimination. I'm like, man, it's got nothing. There's no discrimination, man. We're just cutting off the line. He's like, well, what if I did pursue legal action? How about that? This is Culver's, bro. I, I mean, have a case. I don't... Like you would personally have to pay him. Remember how I said I got really busy on holidays? New Year's Eve is one of those holidays, right? Okay. For some reason, and, and that when I say Tuesday's lines go out the door, this went out the door and around the corner, this line. The only person, the only people that my manager sat for the night was me and my brother. Really? Two people. Those phones were linging. We were barely able to like keep up, right? Because there was one person making pizzas. I was handling everything else. Like it, it wasn't a good, fun time. And then some Indian dude called the phone and started like getting mad at me because his pizza didn't cook. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? And I, I tried. I tried I mean, obviously, you're nice at first. Like, sir, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like. We, we can do something about this. Was, yeah, you try to me? cook it. You know try, I mean? try to cook it. And he's like, he, 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 he didn't want to have his mind changed, right? He, he didn't want to, he, he, he didn't want to find us. So he wanted to be mad. He wasn't and looking for, I had already been like, it's been like an hour and a half of line out the door. People were coming up asking for refunds. Cause it was long as I was doing refunds. I was taking calls. I was, I'm peeved and I have a short, I have a short hair trigger. Right? You're kidding. No, it, really, really. I have a short hair trigger. So I remember in the middle of the store, there were like at least 15 people in, like that were in your shot of this. Yeah. I, 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 I tried explaining nicely at first and then I went, sir, there's nothing I can do to make your pizza like not cook in the middle. Like unless I'm putting every single topping directly in the middle, there's no way I can make your pizza not cook. Right. Right. Like this, this might be an oven problem. Cause you know, he, I, I, I already, he turned down the solution. So I'm, I'm able passive aggressive now. I have an oven problem. And he starts telling me how, how much money he spent on his oven. So then I yell on the phone. There is no fucking way I can make your pizza not cook, you fucking... Okay, okay. And hung up. <laughs> that was what I said on the phone in front of 15 people. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Happy New Year, folks. And I remember no one cared. No one in, in the lobby gave a shit that I did that. I think... <laughs> Everyone in there understood that I was not, I was not happy. They wanted their pizza. They yeah, wanted, they, they wanted their pizza, and they understood that I did not have time for that. Was there a clap? <laughs> there, was, there, were, there, were, there were laughs. There were a, f- a few laughs. That, that is what I got. There were a few laughs. And then the next guy walked up to the counter. He was initially going to complain about his pizza. He's like, oh, "I'll just get a pizza." <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll wait till I see the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't want to complain of this. And then obviously that that guy complained, but. That nothing, nothing happened because of that. I quit on my own accord. Yeah. A week later, Papa Murphy had to come in, and he's like, hey, "Papa Murphy did hey, not so. have to come in for that." Thank God. That's hell when Papa Murphy has to show up. Mm-hmm. But that—that that was my worst customer interaction. Was that right there? There was also one where a lady, like I didn't know how to do this. A lady, like she, like had a, had a few coupons and whatnot, and mm-hmm. you know, I rang them up on the system. I'm not doing any math. I'm ringing up on the system. It comes out, and she's doing math in her head, right? And she says, no, this isn't right. No, it should be this amount. And then I do the math in my head. It's like, no, this is right. Like, what, what, what do I do? How do I argue this? Like, oh, no, you're right. It should be this. Like, what do I do? How do I, how do I explain to her nicely that, no, you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. Okay, okay. Bitch. Like, I guess just, like, say the math out loud. Is... I mean, it's, thank, thank God she, like, rethought about it and then went, oh, no, 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 no. It's right that way. Because I, 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 I was kind of, like, stunned. It's like, I don't know how to deal with this situation. I, like... What what do I do? Says you're wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> like, like is that was just that was. Is she gonna get mad if I just? Is she gonna get mad and tell the manager that I said no? You're wrong and dumb. 
Well, obviously, I wouldn't say the last fat. part, but I wouldn't say that part either. But. You're barren. <laughs> Man, we have talked way too much we about to, pizza. We have two, like an episode and a half about pizza right now. I'm definitely going to have to get pizza now. Ha ha ha!